Welcome to what's probably going to be the last uh, FPLA pre-planning meeting. Again, I am your host, Ken, aka Fish. We are here in our wonderful abode. We're going to talk about uh, what we have planned. This is actually going to be all of our confirmations. We're going to talk about first a little bit about the website. I want to get that in there. Uh, we're going to talk about our fan merch. We have uh, quite a few things going on with that. We're going to touch up a little bit on the pre-concert meetup. Um, and we're going to talk about the uh, elephant in the room, the after party. That one's what everyone's looking forward to. But Ken, I thought I was the elephant in the room. No, that's me. I'm an elephant. Well, we have a lot of elephants. <laughs> <laughs> There's a safari in here. A huge elephant. We're going to touch up on the uh, special encore. Uh, and then we're going to see if anybody else has any other comments on this. On anything that we talk about. So, let's move on to the website. Here we go. So, uh, I know a lot of you know about the website. Uh, I wanted to go through this real quick. Well, not too quickly. So, Chicago just had their uh, their show. So, we'll just move on to Dallas. Um, I just wanted to touch up on the events that everybody had. Because if anybody has anything else going on... Uh, I want you guys to let me know so that I could put it up on the website. I created this for World Tour, no, for Cosmic Explorer. And you can actually find that under the archives here. So that's what all this is. All of our old stuff is still up here. It's pretty fun to see what we did and what we planned for Cosmic Explorer. But the uh, main reason for the website now is World Tour Fourth Future Pop. And you can, on the website, as most of you know, you can navigate via the menu up at the top. If you scroll along, it'll have a little pop-up of the uh, the details for each venue. So as you can see here, Dallas, Seattle, San Jose, LA. Oops. Uh, scroll over, and if there's any other pop-ups that'll come up, it'll show. Uh, as we can see, Dallas here has, under their events, has a special encore. Well, let's touch upon that since they're the next show. That's still going on tomorrow. Love the world has been chosen for no. That's FPN. Oh, we still have to. We have to update that. Um, actually, love the world has been chosen F as FPDA special encore. I will go ahead and change that. Uh, we I put up a little video here so that you guys can sing along, kind of get acquainted with the lyrics of the song. This is their flyer and. If you don't happen to have the flyers or if they didn't print them out, um, you can go to the website and follow along with the lyrics right on here. So let's uh, move on to Seattle. Seattle's events, they only have an after party. Oh, let's go back to Dallas real quick. Uh, I wanted to say that they only have the special encore, no after party, no pre-party, nothing else planned. At least then nothing else that has been relayed to me. Uh, for Seattle, we have the after party. No special encore and no pre-party. Uh, they are registering via Facebook, so if you just click the link up here, you'll see that they have a the registration. It'll take you directly to the Facebook site. Um, the FC, uh, FPC after party will be held at Dragonfish Asian Cafe, and this is being organized by our very own Ray. You might have seen him do his thing on is dancing all over the world practically. <laughs> Good job, Ray. Dancing, Ray. Look for him if you're looking to if you're interested in FPC's after party. San Jose, um, our own Max is actually organizing the banner project. They do not have a special encore or a after party that has been related to me. I have heard word that they're trying to get a special encore organized, but I haven't gotten the final details and I haven't gotten a message about that. But as far as the uh, SJ Banner project goes, um, Max will be in line and she will be 
with this banner that you see over here, and as with Toronto, uh, Shanghai, did Taiwan do one Taiwan. too? Um, and if I'm missing another one, I apologize. But um, she will be in line, and you can go up and sign this banner, and she will be turning it into perfume after, during, Whenever before the concert, <laughs> at some point. Yeah. Hopefully, that will get out to them. Mm -hmm. So, let's move on to what we're here all here for. Future Pop Los Angeles. So, uh, right before we touch upon that, actually, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about, we have a donation button here. Um, so, I created this website uh, for everyone to use. Uh, so, it's a central resource for everyone that you don't have to keep asking in Facebook. And, of course, we all know that, you know, posts and such get lost as they get older and it's hard to find. Um, I've had a couple donations already which allowed me to remove all the ads from the website to make it uh, easier for everybody to access. So I just wanted to touch on that because although I have a donation button, you know, if you guys are going to have a hard time with anything World Tour 4. I want you guys to take care of that first. I want you guys to have fun at the concerts. Don't worry about, you know, um, buying anything that any of us have have organized or any of that. Take care of what you want to do first. If you guys have anything else after the fact, you know, that it would be much appreciated. So, moving on to... Do, 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 do a little <coughs> transition. We are going to talk about our fan merch. Yay. So, Yay. as you guys know, we do have our lanyards uh, planned, and we did receive them. So, let's take a look at what those look like. Shall we talk about this? It came out really well. <laughs> they did come out really, really cool. So uh -huh. what we have is it's kind of like a, a fabric material. Uh, it's laser printed. Laser printed. Designed by our, again, great artist Max over there. <laughs> we have that laser design that goes around your neck part. Of course, a little uh, hairstyle perfumage going on. And... Uh, it says World Tour Perfume, uh, Future Pop World Tour 4th here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We also made some little cards, have that like kind of VIP feel going on. It's the same thing on both sides. And we have a little lobster claw hook for, you know, whatever you want to hook on there. As we've said in the last pre planning meeting, let's get this out so it's easier to see. Um, this is much easier to have than a little than uh, the keychain ring, so you're not, you know, if you have something bigger that you want to put on there, it's easier to manage. So uh, we've had people who filled out a an early survey that had both uh, uh, questions about the after party and the lanyard, and we wanted to. It just says awesome with a bunch of emojis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for that. Um, so everyone who has filled out that survey, uh, we will be getting in touch with you first. So to make sure that you guys have however many lanyards that you want to reserve. Um, since you guys, you know, filled out the survey first, we want to make sure we've taken care of you first. Uh, after that, oh, and keep an eye out for an email. Um, for those of you who have sent contact information, there's, I think... Just a handful of people who handful. didn't send uh, their contact info. Um, I don't think you guys have to worry about that, which I'm going to touch up on, on that a little bit uh, in a little, uh, short while. But for everyone who has given us email, uh, keep an eye out on your inbox and reply back as soon as possible. We're just going to ask you basically how many you want to order. Just give us a number and we will put those aside. So, 
Uh, we ordered 100. 100, and we probably have how many left ish? Maybe 40. I would say yeah, after, about 40. After everyone replies and says how much they want, maybe right. 40. We might have 40 left, depending on how many those people who have pre reserved uh, say they want. So, after that, we are going to open up some sort of contact list for us, uh, asking anybody else who would is interested in one of these, uh, how they can get into contact with either me or Max. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to be in the with the cool people, check this out. We be are part not of cool the, people. Be part of the <laughs> awesome fan. Anyone who's in here? Whoa! Whoa. I'm not cool. We're definitely I'm old not people. Cool. Look at that. I'm old, clearly. clearly. My clearly. shirt's cool, but I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm old and have back pain. Gotcha. I'm cool like SpongeBob. <laughs> so keep an eye out on the uh, lanyard page. We will be posting the uh, order form, or however we're gonna, you know, prefer as a contact for the lanyards on that. So. When, when, when and where can they pick up, by the way, for LA? For LA, we're going to have to figure outside. that out, uh, I think. Um, maybe we will have some sort of pre-gathering, you know. Uh, I'm thinking there's a restaurant at the Ace Hotel. That's the closest thing. So we could just hang out there, you know, have lunch or something. Have best girl. Felipe Modos is It's home. called the uh, Hello. best girl. Hello. Hello, Felipe. Good to see you <laughs> over in the chat room there. So maybe we'll do a pickup at best girl. Uh, the sooner the better. <clears throat> or we can also do, you know, give it to you at the after party if you're, you know, looking to go to the after party, which we'll touch up upon in a little bit also. Other items. Paige has it. We created a couple of other things. <laughs> These we are... Oh, uh, one more thing. The lanyards are going to be $5 each. But we did create other things that we are I'm really away. not asking some moolah for. One of them is we created an Uchiwa. Uchiwa is one of those fan... fans... <laughs> fan made fans, fan fans that you find in like Japan, and sometimes they'll have. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they'll be, you know, faces of the Dead. idols or whatever. Whoop. And this is how it looks it's kind of plasticky, like a, a little flexible, so you have maximum airflow. Whoa! Slap people. Oh <laughs> well, wait, that's not all. Keep an eye out for these. If you see us, we might have them beforehand. We will definitely have them at the after party. Incentive to go to that. <laughs> what if um, what if you use that like in the perfume uh, live and then just like sort of wave? That'd be cool. You can use these. So um, if you find me and I still have any, just ask yeah. me for it. No, I'm or serious. Ask us for yeah. it. Just like a, a small thing. One of my friends who attended the Chicago one had a friend who just like it was just like distributing <laughs> printouts of perfume mm -hmm. spits and they were just like waving it. <laughs> yeah. And then they, they gave that gave Bless them a spotlight to, to actually talk to Nochi. That's actually a good idea. Anybody in the front row, please look us up. Yeah. And we will just have like, yeah. you can be like signage. Hey, hey, Nochi, Acha, yes. and Kashuka, come talk let's to me. Uh, let's let them know that. Uchiwa. Don't that. throw any of this on stage, don't throw nothing on stage. If you throw anything on stage, we'll never make anything ever don't again. Be, you will be banned just, from, just from just something. Throw I'm sure we'll find something. <laughs> from, our from our friendships. <laughs> we have small cups in the <laughs> Or maybe later. Uh, later after. We, didn't, we gotta, like, wasn't there a hint for someone to like at or something? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, it was a problem like Explorer. <laughs> They were throwing stuff on stage. <laughs> that is not okay, guys. Don't do that. We will talk about actually etiquette a little bit after everything is done. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to mention the tattoo. Tattoo. I tattoo. We're going to mention something. I tattoo. And it's going to involve Paige. 
Come over here, Paige. We're going to show you a little other something that we got going. Put on this. <laughs> we made some face tattoos. Yeah, I, pr- I got 500, 500 yeah. of them. Huh? Move your glasses. glasses. A little bit? Yeah, yeah there, there you go. Too. Okay, now just she get right, right up in there. I can't even see. <laughs> Why are you there. Black That's good. So we also created some face tattoos. Oh. Kind of similar to what they do during... Uh, Soccer skins. or football, if you're European. Football. And a desire. It is the perfume logo, and you can put it wherever it's clever. It's pretty cool, though. Uh, and like Cosmic Explorer, our last thing. Oh, oh, wait, those are also giveaways. So if you find us, just let us know you want some tattoos, and uh, we'll give them to you. I have 500 printed. So it's first come, first serve. Mm. Same mm. thing with the fans, so don't forget. If you see us and you want one, just let us know. Cause, mm. yeah. A lot of stuff going so on. A lot of stuff flying Monty away. Monty says, I want one of those fans. Yeah. Vesta said, this is exciting. Felipe says, I want all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all collector's items. We've been doing a lot of free stuff for, since World Tour Third. Um, we did the, uh, the little right wristbands. Yeah. Uh, for each venue, well, let's, let's take a look at that. Look at that. This is World Tour Third wristband, and we had that for each venue that we did. We kind of had like a Disneyland day. We had a um, the areas that perfume walked around day, uh, after party, it's all that high. stuff. So that's kind of a collector's item now. We have the whole oh. set. Ooh. Uh, Cosmic Explorer, we had our little light up shirts, and this year we have all of these other items. They are also just like a Cosmic Explorer, we're working on these little perler bead kind of things. I'm not sure if how many were given away of these or if they're being sold. Are these being sold? They're they not being sold, they're part of the lanyard thing. If we can make enough, if we can make enough, if we can make enough. So they may be on some of them and not on all of them. Like a okay. bonus. There's different colors too. Yeah. Oh. The, yeah, we you did. got two of the exact same. But there are different colors. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, some gray ones, some with the uh, uh, FP ones. logo that are clear, and then uh, you know just different color schemes. It's There's one cool. over there. Oh, here we go. Let's oh, get there. that one. Yeah. But I like that one. It's pretty. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Isn't that pretty cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Those so, are just stuff we're making the, to add okay, to. Um, yeah. This says thank you guys for thank you. Uh, can't read English. Thank you for your guys. <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> thank you for your guys' awesomeness. Leave this is what material is the FP? Uh, what material is the FP logo? This. Those are perler plastic. beads. They're plastic mini perler beads that you like set on a tray and then you oh, iron it. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so we oh, will a add a chain and stick it on there. Um, it can, Put what, like a jump ring and use it as Was a keychain. Yeah, so we'll put chains on it, and then if you want, you can put it on a keychain and just yeah, yeah do whatever cool. you want with it. It's just something that we're playing with and gonna give away as well. These guys are like perfect be gods. They're masters. <laughs> I can't do any of this stuff. He doesn't even. They're very cool. They could make it out of diamonds <laughs> if they wanted to. <laughs> Moving if I, on. If I could afford the diamonds, I'd make it out of diamonds for you. So let's talk about meetups. Uh, first in line is the pre-concert meetup. So this thing isn't actually planned. This is more of a who's interested kind of thing. Um, and again, sorry for all the glitching. If you guys see a, a bit of glitching, it's uh, it's OBS, which is what we're using to to stream. Uh, but so. We did a couple polls and a couple surveys uh, asking for interest in the pre-concert meetup because, as I've said in the uh, last meeting, uh, we had the uh, owner of the venue that we had the pre-concert meetup contact me and ask if he wanted to have his venue again used because he's a huge perfume fan also. Uh, Unfortunately, we didn't really get much uh, participation in those surveys or those polls. I think only at most 10 people actually said they were interested. So, and that is definitely not enough to close down shop. However, that said, um, I know there's a few of you that would like to have something. And since there's a bunch of you that are coming over here before concert day, I'd say, why not? As you can see on this little chart here, 
a pie chart. We have 50% of the people are coming in on Thursday. There is only one person coming in uh, Wednesday. Um, and we got 37.5% coming in on the actual concert date. Um, this was only five people, so it was like uh, three people, or uh, three people saying that they would come in on Thursday, and like two on on the day of, and then one person on Wednesday. But that doesn't mean we can't have something. So maybe we can go. You know, we can really go wherever you guys want. It doesn't have to even be perfume related. We can go to Suhiro, which is what I think would be good. Suhiro is the venue that we had the pre-party at Cosmic Explorer. It's a very nice Japanese cafe, lots of good food. They recently remodeled the place. If you guys were at Cosmic Explorer, they, they did remodel it. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen the remodel. It's very nice. The food is great. Um, the owner is freaking awesome. Uh, and we could do that. We can go to the places that perfume has been. For example, we could go to Hollywood, the Hollywood and Highlands, and do the whole um, Avenue of the Stars. Go to El Capitan, where Cars 2 was filmed, and they walk down the uh, the red carpet or the black road carpet as at the time. Uh, Santa Monica, where they hung out and looked over, you know, the Pacific Ocean. It's not on. Okay. Oh, uh, so we can do really whatever you guys want. Shoot, we can go to round one. Round one is a Japanese entertainment kind of arcade type place uh, that is based in Japan, but they have a couple locations here. It's just kind of far. The only problem that a lot of you will have will be transportation. So if you guys want to do some sort of meetup, all of you who have... Uh, filled out the survey on the website uh, we will be contacting you there I will be contacting you personally you'll get an email from me also keep an eye out for that uh, and uh, Max okay. wants something to, got something to say yeah just uh, because you brought up the El Capitan is that the one near the Hollywood Star across, thing? across the street across the from street? the Hollywood and Highlands. Yeah. Yes. I just uh, I recently discovered a place there. It's just like a small exhibit but specifically mm -hmm. for Japanese um things. So it's called Japan House LA. Oh, what is that? It's uh, it's interesting because they usually do like um Japanese exhibits there. Like oh. last time I went there it was up for Urasawa Naoki's manga. The, oh the, yeah, it was really really good. It was free, so that's great. But um, the one thing, <laughs> the one thing I noticed there, because I, I was talking to one of the people who worked there, uh -huh. I was sort of just like shamelessly, very shamelessly promoting perfume because they're going to Coachella, so mm -hmm. I have no pride. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> but, <laughs> as you should. Holy cow! But, yeah, but man. But then this lady was super nice, and then she says like, you know, we're playing perfume on the TV, right? <gasps> I'm just like, what is this? Then oh, she we gotta show me... them some patronage. Huh? Yeah, no, there she like she showed me a video of um, what Japan did uh, for their tourism. Mm -hmm. They actually put a very small snippet there of perfume playing one millimeter. They said oh, like it's to promote um, like the technology. I wish I could have talked to the owner and sort of like asked, begged him if they can bring like the gallery experience to LA. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Really that would nice. be very cool. But I think it was kind of late because um, I didn't attend it much earlier. I think they already have it booked, but like food for thought next mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. um, and then in chat, Gooskin says, um, so jealous, hoping to get the lanyards via Max. So I'm assuming that's either through uh, San Jose. You're taking some to San Jose, right? Um, who or is it? Are we taking any lanyards to sell at or to sell in San Jose? Ask Ask them, um, it's Guzman? Maybe if yeah. they can reserve. Um, if they are reservations. Are you going to other concerts? Are you, uh, yeah, like, are you, did you want to reserve? Because no. I don't, I don't know. It just says hoping to get the lanyards via Max. Okay. So I don't know, I don't know if it's a mail order or if it's San Jose or they just know you and well, the they ones, meet up in LA. The ones that we were mailing have already been mailed, right? Mm -hmm. There's only one more, but he's not from here. He's from New Zealand. Oh, okay. So I still have to get that and that will take a lot of time before it gets there. But that yeah. he, he is the only one the in only that one list left. that needs to be mailed. Mm -hmm. There's okay. another person there who's, um, who did oh, reservations. It's mail. It is mail order. Oh, okay. 
who did reservations, but she said she's gonna pick it up in LA yeah. anyway because okay. okay. she's gonna go. So who is this? Mm-hmm. Uh, it just says uh, G O. Oh yeah, that's it. he's. Is that's me? Oh yeah. okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yours is coming. It's on its way. Um, no, is, is it Goseki? It, yeah. Oh yeah. Or, um, yeah. So yeah, he has his reservation. Probably on so Monday, huh? It will be going soon. Yeah, yeah. you'll I, be getting yours. I, yeah. Awesome. Thank, <laughs> thank you for do your you patronage. Want, <laughs> do you want us to send you these since you won't be coming to LA? Yeah, why not? He's yeah, paying good money know, for it. You know said, uh, add a fan. Add one of these. Yeah, I have we'll to give pay you yet. A, huh? This is. I have to pay yet. I have to pay. Yet. I have no. to pay yet. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's typo. No, you don't. <laughs> Those ones are not. Is it? <laughs> oh God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so for you for chiming in, we'll send when we mail it. We'll go ahead and send you a fan, um, a couple of the tattoos, and we'll send the yeah. uh, pearly beads that we made as well. Because um, at first he Since made two, <laughs> and then when we told him the price, he's just like, okay, I'll take four. four. Oh, okay. Okay. Like yeah. More power to you. Do you want to take some, or do we want to send some with Max to San Jose? I don't know how much we'll have left because we See, have 40. See, that's the problem is we don't have very lot. many left. I I don't want to because I'm already okay. handling the bag. Yeah, and she's okay. going to have a lot to carry. That's I think mm. it's a little bit much. I mean, we in LA, we have our cars and things that we can throw it back into the cars. It's not yeah. it's not going to be as easy. So I don't think it's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. We only um, have a hood rat bus. So, so <laughs> yeah. if you are looking to get into the uh, lanyard action, I... Uh, Please come to LA. <laughs> well, and then Goskin said, no, no, for shipping and stuff, the shipping is way more expensive than the cost. So Max will be contacting you about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you guys will be collaborating on all the details as far as logistics. Keep an eye on your email about that. Yeah. So back to the uh, pre-concert meetups. Uh, we will be probably, let's do something on uh, Thursday. Let's do Thursday since uh, most people will be here. Uh, keep an eye out for some sort of survey. I, I know I apologies you know for well, sending you guys all these surveys, but uh, keep an eye out for some sort of sign announcement. up announcement survey. Uh, you know about what we're gonna do, uh, so we can at least you know hang out um, if. You guys, oh, you know what? I will do a survey because I need to know what you guys first, where you guys are when you are in LA, uh, what your transportation abilities are basically. So I know how far we can go. Uh, And what you want to do. And what you want to do. And you know what? We'll also do something before the concert on concert day. So both Thursday and Friday, uh, we will be hanging out. Most likely, the Friday one, the concert day one, will be at Best Girl uh, at the Ace Hotel. Mostly so that we can get the lanyards out. But, you know, it's a cool thing just to hang out with us. I think so. Don't you think so? Yeah, my house. You can get free food. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so... Moving on from that, let's go to the meat of this thing. The huge event that a lot of people are looking forward to. The after party. Ah. Woo! Yay. The after party will be held in Hondaya in Little Tokyo. Uh, as you can see here, the cost will be approximately $32.17. Uh, we will be having an Eventbrite sign up. Uh, what that is, Eventbrite handles a lot of events uh, from really from anything. You can have, for example, a gathering, a small kind of party, uh, you know, that might not cost anything and they want to have to limit the number of people. Or you can have a huge concert by a major label like, I don't know, Ariana, Ariana Grande is having some sort of concert and she, you know, they do some of my bright stuff like that, you know. It's really a, a, a ticketing system. So that's what we're using to uh, to have people sign up and register. So the details about the after party, uh, as far as like sign up goes. Um, Vista asked if we could post a link on the Facebook page. 
for this event, right? We're opening it live today. That's why it's not posted yet. Okay. It has just been created. So uh, there, it, it is currently private uh, because you know I needed to test out, make sure everything was ready. Uh, you guys will be seeing a link on this soon. It will be on the web page. I will, and of course, I will be you know advertising this on Facebook, on Reddit, on Discord, and on Twitter. Chickaly wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the web page real quick. So, uh, this is just a uh, kind of temporary measure, uh, not measure, a temporary page that I created because it was for the survey. Don't You don't have to take the after party survey because the Eventbrite link will be <coughs> being, will be posted very, very soon. So all of this content will be removed. And it'll just, it'll have the details of the venue, how much it's going to cost. And we'll even put up a little something about what you can expect at the after party. And Jen will talk about that in a second. The Eventbrite page looks like this. So the, it'll give you, it's called World Tour 4th Future Pop Los Angeles After Party. You can actually search for that now. If you are looking, yeah, you guys have a little bit of pre-sale uh, information here. Um, the tickets, you just click on tickets. It says $30 here, but Eventbrite does have their, you know, their taxes and fees. So that's why it comes out to about $32-ish, $32.33. Here we have our little description. Hondaya is actually located in Little Tokyo in downtown LA. And I wanted to show you guys this because there is a parking structure that I want you guys to go to and it is located on Alameda Street. So you will see what is called the Little Tokyo Galleria. And it's kind of cool looking. It's like a, this curved facade here. A little down on Alameda Street, you will find the parking for the parking structure. I want you guys to go to the parking structure because uh, Hondia will validate your tickets, your parking tickets. If you go anywhere else, you will have to pay for parking. Uh, if you get it from the structure, you will have a two hour parking validation. So what that means is your parking will be free for two hours. So if you can get in there and out within the two hours, it'll be free. Um, the after party will run from 10.30 till, to till 12.30 uh, a.m. It's uh, after the concert. So again, about the uh, validation, you do have to bring the ticket with you into the restaurant and ask the staff to validate it. So uh, hold on to it until after the party is over and then go to the uh, Hondia staff and ask for, they just put a little stamp on there for you. So when you, you know, get out of the venue, this is everybody who is, you know, obviously who has a car who is parking over there. Have the ticket with you, uh, both your parking and your Eventbrite ticket. So again, it is 10.30, it starts at 10.30 p.m. after the concert ends and goes until 12.30 a.m. And that is what time uh, Hondia closes. So unfortunately, we can't extend the time. That's just when the whole thing closes. Uh, downstairs, there we might do a little something after Hondia closes because there's a, uh, a karaoke place called Max Karaoke, and they are open <laughs> until <laughs> they're, they're open until uh, 4 like 4 a.m. Uh, and sure they I'm have. Sure pretty much the latest Japanese songs. It is a very cool place. They have the latest, uh, uh, really much, a lot of everything. They keep their stuff up to date. It's a really cool place. Yeah, I just checked recently. Through. They, they even have every day. So they have, telling. really? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I went with a friend and then I just like randomly um, checked just to see if they have um, future pop stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, it's already here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one of the guys who works there is a huge perfume fan. He's a cool dude. He couldn't get concert tickets. For? The guy that works there. He oh, yeah. Like, oh, I tried to get tickets. Like Are you there. sure? Yeah, he I tried to get tickets and he couldn't. Ask him to RSVP for bands in town because they're giving away tickets. They didn't say the LA show though, right? 
It, it, was, it, it only had um, the other shows. Oh, because then there was sure another LA one for LA, LA, but oh, maybe it's a different raffle. Please, please, please go, sir. Yeah. yeah, please go. Yeah, it's a very cool place. <laughs> so, uh, again, this Eventbrite page will be going live uh, very soon. You'll see this. I'm actually going to update the um, the after party page after this pre-planning meeting. So we will be advertising that. Did you want to talk about the menu? Um, it's we, good. It, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, we'll have some... Um, Yakitori. Yakitori. Um, we'll have yakitoris. We'll have some chicken wings, fries, a couple of other Japanese dishes, beer, and then you can order a drink that's non-alcoholic, some are refillable, some are not. Um, I'll try to update, have Ken update the website when I finalize the menu. Um, just need to look over it once more to make sure. It is going to be a prefix kind of situation, family style, um, to make it easier for Honda Ya and you know for them to be willing to um, host us again because they did this for us a few years back uh, for a pre-party so it like I said will be well like Ken said will be about $30 in cost and um, everything else that we make from the lanyards will go towards after party so we'll add more food or more drinks and things like that for that so the funds that we make we do not keep any of it we do not plan on spending it in any other way and to be honest a lot of the merch that we give out for free is out of our own pocket and yeah it's just for the love of perfume and our the fans and such so um hopefully uh i think last time we had over 50 attend and hopefully we'll have something similar and usually it's a lot of fun so mm -hmm. please join um the food Thank situation you. as far as uh if you don't know what prefix is, prefix is actually a, just a set menu. <laughs> so it's not really like you go, you guys go there and order anything. Uh, we have a preset menu that will, you know, be available to everyone. It's going to include, you know, the items that Jen said. Uh, we we might be ordering other things. It really depends on. The situation in Hondia because it is a Friday night Hondia is going to be insanely busy it always is uh, so whether or not we can order more on top of that or order other things that might not be available so just expect that you might not be able to order more things besides what you guys uh, are getting and then also if you do have dietary restrictions um, I don't want to limit you on what you can order because obviously the menu isn't accounting for that. So if you do have dietary restrictions or you need whatnots, please come to me and let me know um, because I will let Tondaya staff know to not allow other people to order and that way at the end of the night the bill isn't going to be thousands upon thousands of dollars that we cannot cover. Um, so if you do have any of those kinds of things, just come find me. I will be there the entire time. I'm yeah. usually pretty easy to spot or find Ken. He usually will know where I am. And another thing is that uh, if, you, if you try to order anything else from the Honda staff, they probably will reject because it's just going to be too insane for them to keep getting orders from everybody. <clears throat> uh, if we do and if we are able to open up any other orders, uh, it will be going through either me or Jen um, just to keep it simple. And Honda has... Uh, announced that in the past to us uh, there were people who wanted to order stuff I think it was during World Tour third and they pretty much came to us and said if that was okay so we'll let you guys know we'll see how it goes it'll, it'll be pretty much being played by ear to see how things are going as far as other things that we can order so keep an eye out for that. The Eventbrite uh, page will be posted soon on the website and we will be advertising it all over the place. Next, moving on. And our last thing that our official thing that we're going to be talking about, Special Encore. Special Encore, as everybody knows, is that little something special that we sing after the concert. 
that uh, it's really only for us. It's not really to get a reaction from perfume. I know a lot of people thought that their special encores failed because, you know, perfume didn't say nothing or, you know, there wasn't a reaction or any of that. Don't expect them to do that, really, because, you know, it's it really started as a way for the fans to kind of come together and just be fans together and kind of get that high of the concert, you know? Uh, I think it started with, what well, was it Taipei? World Tour first? Yeah. We think it was. Correct us if we're wrong. So, for LA's special encore, Macaroni has been chosen. And as I've said before on the other pages, you will find more information on the website. Uh, just look for World Tour 4th Los Angeles Events Special Encore. There is a video here that includes lyrics that you can follow along, get acquainted with Macaroni if you don't know it. Macaroni is one of their older songs. Uh, we chose it because it's relatively easy to sing. Uh, people can follow along. Uh, and of course, you can come to the website and follow along with these uh, lyrics that I've posted here. We will also hopefully be having some flyers that... That's another thing that we've organized. Uh, our very own Stephanie is working on a flyer for us, so we will be passing those out. Look for us over at Best Girl, or maybe I'll give some to you guys who are coming to the pre-concert meetups and gatherings. Um, Stephanie, as you've seen before with our flyers, she uh, designed both the Cosmic Explore flyer that Kashiuka uh, uh, featured featured in her in, in the Perfume official Instagram, and she also designed the cake that we had during World Tour Thirds after party. She's her designs are freaking awesome, jealous, envious. And proud at the same time. <laughs> all the artsy fartsy people. All you artsy people. This stuff just said, just uh, wait till I make a bomb stick even more emojis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make stick figures that look amazing. <laughs> uh, Macaroni is a pretty cool song. I just want to touch up on the other venues, uh, special encores. I'm very jealous of you guys because you guys chose some really good songs. Um, and we already chose our macaroni song, and we're like, whoa, it's a spring of life. Oh, that's cool. And then Toronto came up with theirs, and and New York, your special encore was... You're New York. You guys, like, what is Patrick was his name, right? Mr. Saxman. Oh, man, that yeah. was freaking awesome. I Look at you from, getting on Mikiko's Mik Instagram. Yeah, Mikiko called, <laughs> called him Sax Onicha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It's like, oh, my God. So he's not, not a sax man, he's like sax on Egypt. It was very, it was perfect. very cool. Hey Patrick, wanna move to LA? <laughs> <laughs> we have a gig. <laughs> <laughs> he's been like going sofa. around gigs right now, so who knows. I got a sofa. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> we Do we have any like music players around here in the area? Uh, maybe I'll bring along a cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> so anyway. Um, hopefully we can get like a speaker, Bluetooth speaker in there so that we can get the crowd on the same page. But how do we get it in? That's a question. Who's got big Would they... holes? Patrick, how did you get your saxophone in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I asked Kenda, how did he get it's his like, saxophone in? like, where did he put it? They just, <laughs> let, they just let him in. That's that's what I've heard from Patrick, wow. the man. Just he posted up. He like Just cuz? Yeah, he, yeah, it was just... <laughs> It was just a horn, so... It's like Kate, I... <laughs> yeah, because a lot of times, like, in L.A., they will not allow certain items. There's a lot of items they don't allow, like larger backpacks but, and things, so it's like... But it's L.A. They it always LA. do this. They're very, I don't know, remember, remember, like, that um, they didn't allow the drones for perfume, even though they're the performers. They said, like, fire hazard something. Mm -hmm. But yeah. then other places got it. It's like, F.U. Yeah. That was yeah, another thing I wanted to touch up on. Uh... We pretty much covered everything that we are covering, so it is the end. But we have a couple of other comments uh, that I wanted to show you guys. First, since you guys uh, kind of mentioned the venue had like restrictions and such, 
Uh, I do have some information about the venues and a little bit about the area of LA. If you go to the website, as you can see here, World Tour Future Pop, Future Pop Los Angeles, there is an FPLA general info section. And what you will find there is information, for example, about Ace Hotel. And what I've done, I've uh, concatenated some information such as directions, the location of the venue, uh, as well as some facts that I've uh, copy and pasted from Ace Hotel's fact page, uh, which includes where do I park, how do I park, how do I see a show, how do I talk to a live person, so on and so forth. Uh, what's your privacy policy and all of that. And Vista said also um, LO needs more cowbell. And then he said, <laughs> I have a JBL and if any others have JBL speakers, you can link them together up via Bluetooth for mobile sound, uh, surround sound. That would be pretty cool. If we JBL? can do that. JBL send speakers. us a link. Mm. Send could us you, a link uh, you can. send a link in the chat room um, for what? that speaker? I do believe Anthony has a JBL speaker. He has boss. Uh, he has boss. Oh, he has a bomb king. Never mind. But maybe if anybody else has something like that, we'll ask around. Or buy from Amazon and then just return it if you don't. Be that scumbag Asian. I'm a one. Yeah, so JBL speakers are like, they're usually around like this big. Oh, is it the. Or a, like a, bo like, a boxy type? Oh, no, no. They have the big ones. But I think he's talking about the portal ones. Okay. You connect it through Bluetooth and then you can Because I was about to say, we. Uh, how can you bring I do, that? <laughs> I do have one of those really large speakers. I don't know how you're going to get it in. Oh yeah, that's under, under yeah. The problem is getting it into the venue, which I don't think they Either will well. allow. Right. Put it in your so. pocket. But we could use it at the after party. Yeah, <laughs> we that's can. True. That's true. We can. We can. Which yeah. I was planning to take. Actually, what we're gonna try to do at the after party is bring it's in the, awesome. kind of a larger type <laughs> speaker so that we can gone. play <laughs> perfume-related <laughs> songs and stuff. That would be no. pretty cool. Oh, hey, is Kaya how party we bring a projector to honey? Bring Karen's projector. I mean, they have a portable projector. There's kidding around. I, I mean, no somebody. Yeah. Uh, so Karen. Because yeah. that says that she's she off screen one. right now. She's like, and over she here. I mean, You can link them all up via Bluetooth for mobile surround sound. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. That would be cool. Did like somebody from New York did projection mapping, even though it's just like for him. Yeah, that guy, man. Nuts. All of these all of technical artsy people. Freaking, you guys are so cool. Uh, let's do a little bit more on this general info screen. Um, I also added, for those of you who are coming in, traveling from other places, uh, I included transportation information for LA, which includes Android, iOS apps, and you can pretty much figure out that that would be Uber and Lyft. If it is your first ride, this only works with the first ride, um, you can have uh, up to $15 off an Uber ride with this code. These are my codes that I put in here. <clears throat> I don't really use Uber and Lyft, so even though I'll get a little cut of this, I don't think I'll even use it because we have our own cars here. You don't use it. <clears throat> but these are available to you. This is mostly for you guys so that you can get some sort of credit. Um, this information might be different. The as far as like the uh, how much you get off, I might have to look into this to update. But uh, if you are a first rider, Uber and Lyft is there for you. Uh, so moving on to this last thing, I have a little bit of special thanks page that I want to touch up on for all the people who have helped us during all the planning. It is uh, includes all the people that you see here. You have Jen. We have. Uh, Anthony and Paige. He, Anthony's not right here what right now. That? Paige is the one that had the uh, the tattoos. <clears throat> um, Max, of course, she's going to be over there. You'll see her doing the uh, banner over in SJ, and you will be collecting the lanyards from her. Austin over there, <laughs> helping us. He's actually helped He's with color there. correction He's, on yeah, your, our uh, lanyards on the uh, <laughs> logo. Oh, 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 work it. You better work. Uh, of course, he is uh, moderating the, uh, the, chat, the chat room right now. You go. He also helped uh, design the FPLA Eminem logos, which I don't have with me right now, but you guys will be seeing that. We'll go grab that real quick. We'll show you guys that. And he also uh, designed... 
more resized the uh, FPLA logo for the Uchiwa. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> Stephanie, yeah, of course, you. is the special encore flyer designer. Uh, mm -hmm. Courtney helped with uh, a bit of social media promotion, turning a lot of our stuff into Japanese and just general pre-planning. Pre and we have Rex, Karen, <laughs> and Micah helping us with general pre-planning participation. My secret. <laughs> <Marla, laughs> so, and moral support. Yes, I was going to say, oh, this is it. Support. Um, <laughs> oh, she got the goods. This is it. Okay, I'll post on the Facebook group. Also, um, we can all take turns oh. going goods, goods, um, goods, to our cars to drop yes. off our speakers. That would and be cool. Yeah. So this is, um, can we all take turns going to our cars to drop off yes. our speakers? I don't know. Haha. <laughs> just be safe. Uh, just to just be safe and bring one to avoid noise. Um, right. Noise loss. So. Um, uh, most likely, I, I think Anthony, he usually brings like a Sweet. backpack of some sort. So that is something that maybe we can store we, in. Uh, you know what? I think girls should bring a backpack. I have a backpack. Because it, it's easier for girls to bring in their small backpack than a guy. And then also, um, yeah. he said, well, I'm off to pick up... Uh, well, friends, I'm off to pick up my Coachella tickets. See you at San Jose in LA. Nice. Enjoy Coachella. Let us know how that goes. Take lots of videos. Share the world. Share the world. Share the, yeah. share the load. You know, there is one thing I want to know uh, if any of you you guys have the answer. I heard there was going to be a live stream. I do not know when and I do not know what date. Uh, so if you guys could let us know either through, you know, Facebook. Facebook, a lot of people would like to know in there. Maybe Reddit, maybe Discord, you know. Well... They're probably going to do it Sunday, because that's when their thing is. Yeah, but which Sunday? Probably both Sundays. Both Sundays. <laughs> Let's okay. just assume oh, it's both Sundays, mm -hmm. but I don't know what time they'll perform. It's okay. Right. It's, it's going to be at their performance for sure. The same right. way they did story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, so, enjoy. So, that pretty much concludes everything. Uh, no, 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 there is one thing I do want to say. Etiquette. That's what I'm going to touch up on. Yeah. And we have our little uh, mascot yeah. over there. Oh, she likes Future Pop. She, she does this one. We, we play Future Pop for her. Oh, she loves it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> so, the last thing I want to touch up on is concert etiquette. Uh, for especially for those coming to Future Pop LA, I will be reminding everybody this. Um, do keep the venue as you found it uh, in both cleanliness and basically not trash in the place. Mm -hmm. Let's do our, uh, as I've said before, hash, uh, hashtag trash. What was it? Trash uh, something or other. Trash tag. Yeah. Trash tag. Uh, I have a like uh, also um, for perfume etiquette. This goes not just for perfume, but any content in general. Please take a shower before you go. Into the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know that from personal experience. <laughs> Axe spray is not an equivalent to a shower. Axe is not a shower. Old Spice is not a shower. Please We've stop had... giving me rug burn when you wear fuzzy sweaters. <laughs> we don't want to buy Febreze. Uh, you know, just be considerate to those around you. Mm -hmm. uh, so again. If you do have trash, uh, please pick it up, put it in your pocket, you know. Um, shoot, maybe I'll, if we can, I'll bring a, a trash bag of some sort. Okay. Uh, of course, with the flyers that we're handing <clears throat> out and all the other stuff, please, please pick those up. Don't throw those on the floor. Uh, that would look really bad on us. Yeah, don't let If they found our things all yeah. over you know, <laughs> the venue. We don't want to do that. Yeah. It would look disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. Venue. Not just to the place, but to perfume too. Like right, right. So it's like, please pick up your trash and please don't smell like trash. <laughs> <laughs> don't be trashy. Don't so, act like don't trash. Be, don't act like trash. Like, trash don't be a trash. <laughs> so, follow, kind of following those lines on being considerate to those around you. I know there's a lot of you that um, we're going to touch up on filming. Uh, Filming is prohibited. Not it's discouraged. Okay. I wouldn't say prohibited. They very much would like for you guys to not film at the concert. I want to emphasize that they do not want you to film at the concert. Any artist 
really. It does not just perfume. This could be Western, European, you know, oh, any yeah. Asian. Yeah, like um, they hold concerts so that the fans will go out, you know, and see them. They do not want to see a sea of phones. That said, I know that there are a lot of you that are going to film. Um, I personally do not like filming during a concert only because just, you know, for me, that I want to enjoy the money that I've spent and the time and effort that I've spent to go out to the concert. Um, and that's why I don't like filming. I do like advertising perfume exists. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be filming. So if you are going to film, please be considerate of those around you. Don't hold up your phone above and block the people behind you. Try to keep it low. Lower your um, the brightness of your phones. Exactly, right? <laughs> that makes her angry too. You're going to get, you know, little Lana over there. She's going to attack you. You don't want none of that. Um, lower the, the brightness on your phone so that it doesn't distract people. Or if you can, turn off the screen while you film. So, uh, please, please be considerate of those around you. I do have something to add on to that. There are instances where some of the artists may be aware that you're filming the entire concert. For example, um, there was a report, I believe in, it was in Japan. Um, uh, Bruno Mars went to Japan, had a concert there, and one girl's literally recording the whole concert. In the front row. In the front row, mm -hmm. to the point where Bruno Mars threw a towel at her. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want Achan, Nochi, and Kashiuka mad at you. Yeah. Oh, that's no. bad juju. You don't that's, want like you know. You, Achan if you want to exist, <laughs> <laughs> don't make Achan cry don't, that way. Don't make her. Don't, don't, yeah, don't make her cry. Cause cause don't, make her snap, don't make her snap you away from existence. She brings out that glove. It's all over for us. She's gonna use the towel. The towel that she puts in like her neck. She's gonna use that. She's a Thanos friend. So once again, Achan would be Thanos. Nochi would probably. Oh yeah, oh no, yeah. She, like, she's probably like, I want to balance the world and t I'm tired of all these weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, oh, man, you I'm know, kidding you. aside, take care of the venue, pick up after yourself, mm. be courteous of those around you, smell nice, be it'll good. be attractive to everybody else around you, and be courteous of your filming and your photography. If you can, you know, limit it to a little bit, a little shot here, uh, just a few seconds there, a video maybe, you know, keep the camera low, keep the brightness low, turn off your screen if you can, have fun, have everybody around you have fun, it's going to be great, let's do this. And don't shout the copy. Perfume LA, woo! Yes. <laughs> so, we are officially over. Um, one last thing that I want to... Uh, say is that if you guys could uh, advertise for us again your homework please let your local local circles know about local circles know about future pop la events especially those who are attending the concert so they know what's going on post on perfume communities about the planning for future pop la and uh let me erase this because this is pretty much our last pre-planning meeting. Yeah, don't make Jigglypuff sad. Don't make Jigglypuff sad. We don't want none of that. She's not going to allow you to hit her and call in the... <laughs> she's going to run away and force we'll your, sad. you know, oh, contestant to be angry at you. That's funny. <laughs> in Smash. Like Jigglypuff. Thank you for coming along. Uh, we will leave the the chat uh, running, this video stream running, so you guys can ask questions, kind of just hang out in the chat, uh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I might bring this to perfume like LA. Good night, everyone. Oh, good morning, you. everyone. Is it good? Good day? afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Wherever you are. Good day. Ooh, one more thing. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention stuff. this is here's the M&Ms that we got. Yeah, so this one has perfume and future pop on them. That's one bag, and then the other bag has 
FPLA. Don't we still have one from 2016? The FPLA there. And it says World Tour yeah, 4. Well, right and all of it is right? delicious. Some, for some reason, well, they're MMs. <laughs> so in the FPLA kind of logo colors. Isn't that cool? We'll be giving these out too. Lots of giveaways, oh, yeah. lots of stuff to do in LA. We look forward to seeing you. Have fun out there in Dallas tomorrow. Yeah. That's exciting. Everybody else has had tomorrow. some really good shows. Toronto, New York, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> you guys have done really well. Um, Team for Texas. It's a Texas for perfume. Texas. Perfume's first time. Oh, wait, no, that's not the first time in Texas. But still. No, in Dallas. Time. In Dallas. <laughs> first time in Dallas. <laughs> not in Austin Yay. this time. <laughs> Uh, and looking forward to uh, SJ San Jose. Me too. <clears throat> look forward, look out for Max. And of course, we'll see you soon.